Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope y'all are all having a very Merry Christmas. I hope y'all are all spending it with your friends and family. I'm actually not filming this on Christmas because I already have my gift. So I was like, why, why would I film and edit this all on Christmas day when I can do it early and that way I can spend Christmas day with my family. So yeah, I'll get into all that obviously cause it's not how I normally do it on my channel or just in general. But yeah, so Christmas is a little bit different this year. I didn't ask for anything from my parents. They asked me like the day after Thanksgiving, Tori, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, I don't know. I sat down for two days straight, tried to make a list. Couldn't think of anything because I'm very, very grateful and I'm able to buy myself the things that I want throughout the year for the most part. So like, I don't know. I just, I didn't feel like I needed or wanted anything for my birthday this year or even Christmas. So that's amazing, that's awesome. But yeah, so I just decided to buy myself something big this year and my parents offered to help me a little bit with this purchase. So this is a Christmas gift to myself and for my parents. I did pay 70% of this bag off by myself. So don't get it twisted, they did not pay all of this at all. I paid 70%, but yeah. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna be showing you guys my new bag in this video, talking about it, talking about how I got it, where I got it, because it is pretty hard to find nowadays. Um, I'm also gonna be re-unboxing it. I did unbox it the day that I got it. That's a long story, but I had to go to Charlotte, which is about an hour and 45 minutes away from where I live. And by the time I got home was when I was getting sick. I've been sick if you guys didn't know. So then I tried to film like an unboxing that night because I could not wait and I wanted to like unbox it because it was so exciting and it just it didn't turn out good just because I was not feeling the best but yeah it's gonna be very descriptive very detailed um I don't like to do luxury unboxings like super quick and like oh here's my bag and like that be it like I like to take you guys through the whole process because it's a big deal to me like this is as much as a car you know like I want to talk you guys through the whole process you know all right without further ado Let's get in to my what I got for Christmas video. So like I said, I will be unboxing this beauty, but first I wanna give you guys a little bit of a backstory. You guys know I love designer bags. I've loved them for years. I've kind of gotten to the point where I stopped buying them. There hasn't been any that have like caught my eye where I'm like, I need this bag. I'm not gonna be able to survive without this bag. Like, I don't know. It's been like that for probably eight to 12 months, which is a good thing because it saves me money. I've just been very content with my collection and I feel like I reuse the same bags over and over again and there's some bags on my shelves that I barely use. So I'm like, why buy a new one when I don't even use the ones that I own? There's only one bag that has been my dream bag for literally years and it's this one that I'm gonna show you. So May of 2021, I bought my first Chanel bag and it was a Chanel 19. It's beautiful, I love that bag. I got it in white because I knew that my dream bag was a Chanel classic flap in black. So at the time I got my Chanel 19 through Redelux, which is a pre-loved website. You can also get new bags from them, but mine was pre-loved and I got it for a really, really great deal because I was working with them on that video. So I just decided to buy my first Chanel through them. Great experience. And at the time, like, I, you know, I could have saved a little bit more money and I would have been able to purchase what I have right now. But I waited because it just wasn't the time. I never thought that I would get a, another Chanel this soon. Like I even said in that unboxing video, I thought it was going to be years from now for a few reasons. But one of them being, this bag that I bought is the price of a car, so it's an investment, it's, it's a big deal. Number two, I don't have a Chanel boutique near me. I'll get into that a little bit later. So I thought like the only way I was gonna be able to buy a bag was pre-loved, and I knew that this bag that I want, that I just got, I wanted to buy it brand new, and I didn't know when I was gonna travel to like get this bag, and if it would be available to buy or whatever because number three, this bag is so hard to find right now and there's a wait list and you have to have a connection with an SA. So yeah, I didn't think it would happen this soon. Okay, so how I got this bag. Um, I went into Neiman Marcus about a year ago in South Park Mall in Charlotte, North Carolina. They do have a Chanel boutique in Neiman Marcus. I didn't even know. I just stumbled upon it one day and I asked one of the sales associates that was working there that day, I asked him if he had any wallets because at this time I was looking for a Chanel card holder. I ended up getting one last year for Christmas, pre-loved I believe from Fashion File, I think is where my parents got it from. But yeah, so I went in looking for this wallet before I owned it obviously and 
the guy was like, no, like we don't have that, but you know, like give me your contact information and I'll be happy to send you a text when we get some in. I was like, perfect, cool. Gave him my number. He's been texting me over the past year. He'll send me random things like mainly jewelry, um, some wallets, stuff like that. So I didn't think that they even sold handbags at the Chanel boutique. So the last time that he texted me was probably around October or November. And I would text him back, obviously. I'd be like, oh, like those are really cool. I might come in and check it out. I live far away. I'll see if I'm able to make it in, blah, blah, blah. So when my parents were asking me, you know, a couple days after Thanksgiving what I wanted for Christmas, nothing came to mind except the Chanel bag. So I was like, you know what? I'm able to make this purchase by myself. I did not need their help. So I was like, you know what? Even if they won't help me with this, like I'm gonna buy this for myself. This is all I want. I'm gonna do it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna text this essay. It's gonna be a long shot, but I already know what I want. I know the size that I want. I know the leather that I want. I know the hardware, I know the bag. So I texted him and I basically was like, hey, do you have a Chanel classic flap in the small size in black in the caviar with gold hardware? And he basically was like, no, not at the moment, but we will hopefully get some in before Christmas. I was like, perfect, let me know. I'm ready to make the purchase whenever because you have to be aggressive. And so then about a week and a half later, he texted me and said, hey Tori, we just got two classic flaps in. I recommend coming in today because they will be gone before the day's over. And I didn't know that Chanel could not hold bags for you, but, but they can't. It was like 1 p.m. when I got this text message, I immediately got in my car and drove myself to Charlotte because I was like, I'm not missing this opportunity. This is my chance. Let's freaking do it. So I did. Obviously I did research before and like, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and made sure, you know, the size, the leather, the hardware, everything that I wanted. And so I get there and I try the bag on and everything. And I was like, yes, this is the bag. So I bought it. The whole process just happened so fast. Like I, I did not expect to buy another Chanel bag so soon, especially the Chanel bag, the, the bag of my dreams. Like forget a freaking Birkin. This is the bag of my dreams. And it just happened so fast. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. Obviously, like I said, I've already unboxed it. I haven't worn it yet, but I have unboxed it. So it had a nice little bow on it and everything. And I obviously already unboxed it. So I don't have it anymore. This is the bag. I kept it in the dust box for you guys, but it was such a nice, presentation like it was so beautiful like look at this gold and black ribbon with the little pearl and it smells so good oh my god and it came with some info about the bag it came with like a little cloth to clean it with and it also came with the chanel booklet and just random stuff yeah so for the bag you guys already know i got the chanel classic flap in the small size and black caviar gold hardware so here she is. Ah! Guys, stop. You cannot tell me that this is not the cutest bag that you've ever seen in your life. You just can't. Ah! I am still over the moon about it. Okay, so like I said, I've had this purse for about a week. Haven't worn it, but like the plastic's coming off, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna take her off. But oh my gosh, she's so stunning. I still have the tag on here. I don't know if I can show the tag, but okay, this is this is the bag and this is what the inside looks like. This is the double flap. It's got the burgundy. There's a front pocket, but then you also have the main compartment and this little part is where Coco Chanel would put her lipsticks. And then right here in this pocket, the pocket does not go down. It goes up. And this is where she supposedly would keep her love letters. And then in the back of the bag, this is like for easy access for cash, like for tipping and stuff. So yeah, I love her. I think she is stunning. I hate that like I didn't do the unboxing the day that I caught this, but I just, I'd rather it not be rushed and I'd rather it be like just done the right way where I'm, you know, my thoughts are together somewhat. I still feel like I'm all over the place because I'm still in shock, but you know, I just, I thought it'd be better this way. Yeah, I'll also do a what's in my purse if you guys want. Let me know. But this is what she looks like on my shoulder. I'll stand up kind of for you guys. And then this is what it looks like as a crossbody. And this is what it looks like. Like this. But okay, so I know you guys are wondering about the price. So this bag was $8,200 without tax. I believe with 
North Carolina sales tax, it was a little over 8,700, which is a lot of freaking money. We're gonna set her like this so you guys can see her. But yeah, that's a lot of money, um, but it's actually going for more new and used on resale websites just because there's a wait list and you know a lot of people don't have Chanel boutiques near them or they don't have a connection with an essay or like I said the wait list is too long maybe they don't want to wait but the resale market of this bag like my exact bag is going for $1,500 more than I paid for it so the way that I justified this purchase is is like it's like putting your money into stock okay except you get to wear your stock you know so um you know I'll be able to resell this in a few years Hopefully for what I paid for, maybe even more depending on the future Chanel price increases. Um, because if I would have bought this bag in 2019, I think I would have paid 4,600 for it. And now it's going for 8,200. So that's it's a little crazy. So Chanel is known to increase their prices every year like crazy so yeah i can always sell it for the same amount or more especially if i take good care of it it's a classic bag that will literally always be in style and be around there's always going to be a demand for this bag so it's a great investment even my chanel 19 that one is a little bit less i think that one is now considered a classic bag but this is like the epitome of a chanel classic bag like i don't know the chanel 19 even if it's on the classic list that isn't guaranteed that it's gonna be always in demand, necessarily. Now I'm gonna talk about why I went with this size, this leather, everything like that. So the gold hardware and the color black was non-negotiable for me. I just knew I wanted my first classic flap in black and I love gold, so I wanted the gold hardware. That was just, it was a done deal. So you have a couple options when choosing a leather for your Chanel classic flap. You have lambskin and caviar. Those are the most popular. So I'm only gonna talk about those. I got caviar, obviously. I love the look of caviar. I love the feel of caviar. I love the durability of caviar. I know some people prefer the lambskin because it's shinier, it's more plush, it's softer, and it looks a little bit more pristine, if you will. I didn't want that look. I'm a very casual girl. Um, and I feel like caviar, you can dress up or dress down. Like it looks fine with what I'm wearing right now. Whereas the lambskin might look a little too dressy. Lambskin also does not last as long as caviar. So I've heard there's like a huge debate about caviar versus lambskin. A lot of people from the US prefer caviar because it's scratch resistant, scratch proof, whatever. And it holds its value more because lambskin is easily scratched because it's so shiny and plush. So I just went with caviar, not only because it's more durable than lambskin, which is proven, but I just like the look of it better. So that was also kind of a non-negotiable factor for me. Um, I just, I love, love the caviar. As you can see, like, you can kind of see it's like a grained, I think it's like a grained calfskin. I think that's what caviar is. But I just, I love it. I love it. If I was like, a more dressier person maybe i would go for the lambskin i know a lot of people in europe prefer lambskin but i live in the u.s baby and this is what we prefer so small versus medium this was a huge thing because hold on my foot's asleep the medium size is only 600 dollars more than the small and you get like an extra inch like do i pay 600 dollars to get more room and honestly like yeah i would have like if I wanted that look, I wanted more room. I would have easily paid an extra $600 for that, but I personally prefer the small size. The medium is just too long for me. It looks kind of awkward on my frame. I'm five foot even. I'm actually kind of almost five one. I'm like five and three quarters, but I'm five foot, I'm very petite. I'm just a very small person. And I feel like the small bag looks the best on me. The medium just kind of looked awkward. Just looked a little too big. And honestly, like, you know, I could fit extra stuff in the medium, but this is not a bag that I'm gonna be packing full just because I wanna take care of it. And like, if I did have the extra room, I would be more tempted to pack it with more items and weigh it down and stretch it out and all that. So I went with the small, not only because I think it looks the best on my frame because I did try both, but also because this is just gonna be a bag that I'm gonna carry on a day-to-day -day basis with my necessities and it fits just that it does you know it is kind of small like you can't really fit a ton in it but i know what i need to fit in a bag and this holds everything that i need so i just think that this looks the best on me personally like look like it actually kind of looks big on me right now but yeah so that's why i went with the small versus the medium if you are a little bit taller and maybe you 
like to hold more things, whatever it may be, you know, go ahead and dish out the extra $600. But that's not something that I wanted to do because I honestly preferred the small on me. Aesthetically speaking, this just looked, it just looked the best, so. So I went with the small. So guys, I think that is it for my what I got for Christmas slash Chanel re-unboxing video. I will do a what's in my purse for this bag if you guys wanna see that, let me know. I know this is totally different than the normal what I got for Christmas videos, but this is what I got for Christmas and I'm very, very happy with it. So yeah, instead of a bunch of random small things, I got one big, not big, I got one beautiful expensive item, I guess. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, click that bell. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which are on the screen, and also listed and linked in the description box below. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know what you guys think about this bag. Also, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I know a lot of the what I got for Christmas videos come across that way, but I genuinely am just so excited about my new bag. I want to show it to you guys. Like, I know every time I make a new luxury purchase, you guys want to see it. And yeah, I just thought, I just thought that you guys would enjoy me showing it to you guys and talking about it and all that. So yeah, I hope you guys don't take this the wrong way. I love you guys so, so much. And I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.